In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod rinse, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find a website called modrinth.com, click on modrinth, and then you will be on the modern homepage. From there, just go to the Discover Content tab on the top of the website, then go to Shaders. Once you're here, you'll find a bunch of shaders you can go ahead and download, and most of these should work regardless of the version. So what you can do is just, just choose any one of these and just go ahead and do what I'm about to do. So what I'm gonna do here is just simply get the classic. I'm gonna get myself BSL shaders as well, why not? So how does this work? Well, just click on the shaders name here and this will bring you to this page. Now, what you wanna do is go to versions and then what you wanna do is just get the latest version. Even if the version name does not match 1.21.10, it should still work. So, find the latest version of the shader and click the green download button. And there you go, you're now done with Modrinth. One thing you need is Iris to actually get shaders to work. So how do we get shaders to work with Iris? Well, to get the Iris, you will need to go to a new tab, you will need to go to your search bar and search up Iris Shaders, like so. So Iris Shaders, enter that in, and here you'll find a website called irisshaders.dev, click on Iris Shaders, and then you'll be on the Iris Shaders homepage. From there, just go to the Download Now button, and then go to the Download Universal Jar button. And there you go. So you have the Iris installer and your shader of choice. Well, if you can't run .jar files, let me show you how to fix this problem because many of you can have this issue. Let me show you how to do this. So, if you can't run .jar files, simply go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up JDK25, aka Java25. So enter that in, you'll find a website called overcall.com, click on Java Downloads, and this will bring you to this page. From there, just do accept all, then scroll down, you'll find JDK25, you'll find Windows, click Windows if you're using Windows, and here you'll find the x64 installer. From there, click this link to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to go ahead and actually run the jar file on your computer. Okay? So once you have dealt with everything here, you can go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine, and from there, you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Okay. So what you want to do here is double click the iris installer and if you have java it should show up like this. Make sure the game version is correct here and what you have to do here is simply just do install and you're done. So now just do close and open up the minecraft launcher. So what we will do here is just add the shader once we actually open up minecraft. So here we have iris and sodium for 1.21.10 and all you have to do here is just click play and you'll have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically and then you'll be able to actually add the shader to the game. See, the reason we do this is because we have a shader packs folder which is created once the game actually runs, like so. So now we have a new shader packs folder which we can access by going to options here on the bottom. And then you want to go to video settings. You will notice that we have a sodium like environment. Well, all you have to do is just to go to shader packs here. And then you will want to go to open shader pack folder. Here is the shader packs folder. Now simply go to downloads, select your shader, copy them. And once you have copied your shader, just go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click paste. So again, copy paste the shader to .minecraft shader packs. And yeah, 
Now what you want to do is go back to the Minecraft instance here and you'll find your shader. If you want to activate it, just click on it and click apply. And there you go, it's active. If you want to disable it, click on shaders enabled, disabled, click apply. It's disabled. So now, let me show you this working in game. So let's go back to our home screen. Here you can go to a single player world, a realm or a server. Well, I'll just go to a single player world here just to show you it working. And here you will notice that we don't have shaders because they are not enabled. So to enable shaders, just like before, go to escape, options, video settings, shader packs, click on your shader and click apply. And now the shader will be applied. So as you can see, we now have shaders and yeah, it just works as intended. And what you can do also is change shader settings. So basically if we go on escape, options, video settings, shader packs, here we have shader pack settings. Click on that and here we have a bunch of settings we can go ahead and change. For example, there's a lot that can be changed, but let's just say we want higher quality. We change it to ultra, we click apply, and we now have just sharper shadows, for example. So yeah, that is how we download and install shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!